The Riemann integral, developed by mathematician Bernard Riemann, is an ingenious solution for determining the area under the graph of any function f over an interval from a to b. In order to achieve this, he started by doing a very crude approximation of the surface area and then working on refining it to perfection. We'll outline the method first and then get into the specifics. Let's start then with a real value function f over a closed interval from a to b. The graph of the function could then look something like this. Our interest is then to find the shaded area under the curve between a and b. For this, Riemann decided to partition the interval from a to b by choosing a sequence of numbers within this interval. Having now split the interval into subintervals, we choose an intermediary value within each one of these subintervals. For example, within the interval from x3 to x4, we have the intermediary value t4. To t4 corresponds f of t4, with the projection on the y-axis. We can then construct a rectangle around these values with x4 minus x3 being its width and f of t4 being its length. The surface area of this rectangle would be the width times the length, in other words, f of t4 times x4 minus x3. For all the other rectangles we get similar formulas. The sum of the surface area of all these will be an approximation of the area under the graph. If we had a more refined partition, more subintervals, as we can see, we'd get an area closer to reality. In this new scenario, we've made n partitions by choosing to use a sequence of numbers from x0, which is equal to a, x1, x2, all the way to xn, which equals b. We've split the interval a, b into another n intervals. These will have the intermediary points t1, t2, t3, all the way to tn. Any subinterval xy minus 1 to xy, where y is an integer from 1 to n, has its intermediary point ti, as we see in this example. We have now n rectangles that we've built, and the surface area of each of these will be like before the product between the value of f in the intermediary point and the length of the subinterval around that intermediary point. Adding up all the surface area of these n rectangles will give us sum of n terms, which is sum of y equals 1 to n of f of ti times xi minus xi minus 1. Now this is the Riemann sum, the sum of n surface areas of the rectangles that can be built using a partitioning of a, b into n subintervals. The accuracy of this method depends on the value of n. The greater the value of n, the more parts we have split our interval into, the more rectangles and accuracy we get. If n is infinitely great, the sum of surface areas would be equal to the area under the graph. In other words, if it exists, then the limit when n approaches infinity of the Riemann sum will be equal to the area under the graph. We call this limit of the Riemann sum the Riemann integral. And that is the explanation behind this wonderful and essential formula. All the best!